so in today's video i'm working on a 2014 mercedes-benz sprinter 2500 and i'm doing the valve cover gasket on this one so i just got the valve cover gasket out and i'm gonna show you the steps that i took to take the valve cover out it's so simple and uh you're just gonna have to follow some few steps so it's gonna be easy for you and um first thing i did was to take the intake hose i mean the intake box off and also unplug the wires that goes on the the fuel injectors and uh the next step i did was to take the fuel injectors off this is a four cylinder diesel engine so the, um, i'm gonna show you something here real quick this is the fuel injector and it has a little line diesel line that goes on top of the fuel injector that is how it looks like and to undo this one you're gonna have to turn it anti-clockwise when you look on the top you see the lock and unlock uh, sign on it so you're gonna turn it anti-clockwise and you're gonna pull it so you're gonna turn this tab here you turn it anti-clockwise then you pull it if you don't if you can't pull it with your fingers you can just get a mini pry bar just to pry it out so it's so simple and the valve cover has 19 bolts on it it's a t30 bolt and you're gonna have to get it out there's one bolt all the way in the back behind the valve cover so you gotta look out for that one too so here we are this is how the valve cover looks like it's so messy so we had a severe oil leak on it and um i'm gonna clean it and get it ready so i can install the new valve cover on it and also i'm gonna clean all the fuel injectors and change the the washer on it there's a little washer that goes on the tip of the fuel injector so i'm gonna change that one too then we will be ready to go don't forget to like and subscribe peace all right so i'm back so i clean up the the head where the valve cover goes i clean all the surfaces that was built up with oil and stuff so you can see everything looking clean and nice it's ready for the valve cover to come in and also the fuel injectors is looking all brand new again yeah clean it up it's looking so nice and now the valve cover is all brand new so i clean the valve cover also so now it's ready for the gasket to come in so i'm gonna install the gasket on the valve cover and i'll put it back on the on the engine then I'll start putting everything back together so we can start it right up. All right, so stay with me, don't go nowhere. Okay, so the valve cover is in and all the bolts are tight to the spec. And also um, I installed the fuel injectors, four fuel injectors with a new washer because the old washer was messed up so i had to put a new washer on it and um now the next step is i'm gonna and also the pipes the fuel lines that connect from the fuel injector to the fuel rail is also tight because i had to take all of them also so it's also tight and now the next step is i'm gonna uh plug all the wires that goes on the fuel injectors and also the line that goes on the fuel injectors i'm gonna plug all those lines also uh, this one is just to push to lock so you're just gonna have to push it and it locks so um, the job is almost done so we're getting there this one push it and it locks push it and it locks you push it and it locks Push it and it locks. Mm. 
okay so now i can say the job is almost done i mean the most part of the job is done so everything is um back in the wires is all plugged in the lines is all in and tight and also um yeah that's it so i'm gonna put the the air box and i'm gonna start the car and look out for any leaks or anything then we're good don't forget to like and subscribe i'm out